risky while powerful waves pummeled the beaches and piers along the central coast. KCOY 12's Natalie Tavidian has been tracking the coastline for us all day. She joins us now live in Oceano, uh, where the ocean fury forced people, Natalie, to, to get to higher ground there. Melissa, this is where a lot of people drive onto the beach and make their ways to the dunes. Now you can see some cars behind me right now, but earlier today, a lot of people were very hesitant. The water was all the way up to the ramp over there. People couldn't get through and it drew in a lot of spectators. Large, powerful surf, high tide, and the risk of coastal flooding along the central coast. It's really, truly a, a impressive. This is what Pismo Beach looked like early in the morning. Waves reaching up to the volleyball courts and keeping people off the beach. People in cars hoping to drive out to the beach turned around near Oceano Beach. It's waves after waves after waves, probably about maybe 15. I'm not good at counting wise, but I would say that was a very big 15 foot wave that just came crashing in. And it's coming all the way up to the front here where a lot of cars can't even drive through. Rangers say only four wheel drive cars could drive onto the beach. I've been here, what, 53 years. So this is actually one of the first times that I've seen it so big and so powerful and so wonderful. She's a beach dog. Tiffany Flint from yeah, Grover Beach says it's been a while since she's seen waves this high in Oceano Beach. Way back in, what, 96, 95. They're actually crashing on to the road. The National Weather Service says a high surf warning will be in effect until 10 o'clock Saturday morning. It's predicting coastal flooding in areas like Pismo Beach and Oceano. It seems like everybody likes the dunes, but when you see the parking lot full right here, that means it's big and people are scared to go out and get stuck. But people aren't scared to go out right now. Rangers do say that they didn't see any damage. They didn't see any cars stuck, so people were being cautious. The beach here is open right now, and Rangers tell me it will be open tomorrow. Reporting live in Oceano, Natalie Tavidian, KCOY 12 Central Coast News. Natalie, quite a sight for you to see. Thanks for that report.